Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to another episode. In this video, we'll be talking about the pipe library in Python that enables you to use the pipe module. Now, this concept is similar to the pipelines that we use in natural language processing or you can say the pipelines in sklearn module. So with the help of pipe module, you can create your own custom pipeline where you can perform multiple operations on a set of iterables. It gives your code a clean look. At the same time, you can get rid of the nested ifs and multiple functions that makes your code look messy. So let's get started. So I'll open up my Jupyter Notebook. Now for using the pipe library, you need to have the pipe library installed in your Python. So if you don't have it installed, you can do it pip install pipe. Since I have already installed it, so it will be saying requirement is already satisfied. You can directly install it from the Jupyter Notebook or the Conda environment. Now before using pipe, you need to have the understanding of the lambda functions, aka anonymous functions. So a lambda function can take uh, one or more arguments but can have only one expression. So let's say create a lambda function f equals to lambda x. Now this is the argument. Uh, we can have multiple arguments which I'll show in the next example. Now what I mean by that, if I uh, pass the lambda function f 5, then it will be returning me 25. Now we are having only one argument here. Now I'll create another lambda function, let's say with two arguments, x and y, and it will be returning me the product of both. So if I again pass f2 arguments, then it will be returning me the 30 answer. So this is a concept of lambda function. It takes the values as arguments, then the expression is executed and whatever the result is, it is returned to the function from where it is called. Now before using pipelines, we need to import the pipe. For understanding the concept of pipe, we'll take simple examples. So let's say from a range of numbers, you want to segregate only those numbers that are even. So for that, if we'll say range 10, then it will give us a number from 0 to 1. Then we'll enter a vertical bar. This is the symbol for pipe. Then we'll introduce our lambda function. So the lambda will take the argument as x. Then it will be performing the comparison if x modulus 2 equals to equals to 0. But how do we know? For using this, we have to use a pipe method. So we'll say pipe dot where. So when we use pipe dot where, it only matches where these conditions are true, only those expressions will be executed. So if I do run this, then we won't be getting the answer because it will be creating an object. For seeing this, we can either create, convert this into a list. Then we are able to see the answer. Now we can also use this instead of creating list, we have a pipe method pipe dot as list so we can generate directly result as a list okay syntax error i didn't closed so we'll be getting the same answer and we can store this value also in a variable let's say equals to this then we'll be returning the value of a so again we are getting the same answer so the way it is working is like uh, it is creating a range uh, so it is iterating uh, this is a table this function is taking each values from this iterable and then it is performing this function and then at the end of uh, this function and uh, this is generating the result from this pipe as list so let's say you want to add all these results so again you can at the end of this you can again instead of this you can do pipe dot add so it will give you the output of the summation of the output of this whole thing now you can use your map and filter like where works similar to the filter and similar to the map we have a select module so when we are checking the condition like if this condition is true then give us a iterable so we are segregating one iterable like from a range of 10 we are we are segregating all the numbers that are even and suppose now we have to perform a set of operations after segregating this then we can again add a custom pipe and for doing that let's say 
if after doing this we want to square all the numbers that are even so we'll again define one pipe dot select which is analyzed for map function in python now after that we'll define our lambda function lambda x it will be taking each of the values from the iterable then it will be squaring all the numbers now again for getting the result as a list we will do pipe as list so i'm copying and pasting this so now we have the uh, we have the squares of all the numbers which are here again here we can add like all those numbers that are less than say 20 so we'll define again a custom function lambda x where x is less than 20 so i should be getting the numbers up till 0 4 and 16 and for displaying this as a list we'll be having pipe as list here we go so the where method allows us to find the terms that are true and then add to the list so what if we want to perform operations like if this condition until this condition perform this and after this condition perform that so for doing that we can use the take while and skip while method of pi so let me show what i mean so let's say from this example uh, from a range of 10 i want only those numbers uh, continue until the number is less than 5 and then check for those numbers that are even and then do the square of those numbers and then give me as a list so for doing that I can simply copy this and I can insert a custom pipe here like pipe dot take while then again define a lambda function lambda x until x is less than 5 then do the operation uh, find the numbers that are even and then do the square of it and then give it as a result so by doing this we should be getting the numbers 0 4 and 16 here we go so the take while does what take while does is it it trades uh, until this condition is true and after that it uh, when the condition becomes false and whatever the number we are having as a result of this method then it passes this to another method so similar to the take while we have uh, we have another method known as a skip while so what it does until this condition is true it is skipping and after that it passes all the values to another function so so it is a reciprocal of take while so if i just replace this take while to skip while i should be getting instead of 0 4 16 i should be getting 36 and 64 here we go one of the another cool method that this uh, pipe model has is the ability to flatten any list um, by flattening any list i mean like if you are having a list of lists and some are the single variable so there you have another list and inside that list you have another list and you want a list which is having without any list so if you want to flatten then you can use the traverse method of this pipe module so if you want to flatten all this list into a single list then you can simply do pipe dot traverse and then for getting the answer as a list then you can do pipe dot as list so you can see how it does how it simply recursively performs the flattening of this entire list so you can have an uh, list within list and having multiple list and you can flatten out in a single line so i hope you know, this video has helped you understanding the concept of pipe and you can use this method in your daily dose of work so with the help of this pipe model you can make your code look clean and at the same time you can enhance your speed i'll leave the link of this notebook in the description box you can download it from the github so if you have found this video useful give it a thumbs up and do subscribe the channel and i hope to see you in the next video Stay tuned. I'll see you soon.